How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to week five. In week five, it's going to be a little bit different because we're starting to get to, into maybe the heart of microeconomics and how firms make decisions. Firms are going to be evaluating their cost and how they make decisions, which is very important to evaluate. So for this week, we're going to look at the profit maximizing behavior of firms, how they evaluate their short run, long run costs and the decisions that they have to make. It's interesting to note that firms will make a lot of decisions based off the analysis of where should we maximize our profits? That's the key. And they do it by evaluating how many workers to hire, what does our cost look like, what's our revenue look like. Those challenges right there are very important to note in what the actual firm should hire based on what these people actually produce. So the first key term that we look at is profit. Profit is looking at total revenue minus total cost. Now the total revenue is price times quantity. What each worker brings in, I'm sorry, not worker, what each firm brings in minus the total cost. Now the total cost to produce a product includes both your variable and fixed cost. And we'll get into what a variable and fixed cost is. But a lot of people get confused when they state they want to maximize their total revenue. That will not allow you to maximize your total profit. You want to focus on maximizing total profit and not revenue. Because the more that a firm has to produce and the more they sell, the more cost they're going to experience. So it might not be as profitable, profitable for them to actually do that. Now, total cost is a little bit different. Total cost is going to be looking at fixed and variable costs. A fixed cost is a cost that can't be changed. Examples of fixed cost are rent, things like that. Variable costs are costs that always can change. Examples of variable costs are the cost of materials the workers to produce these products. Those are actual variable costs. When we look at variable costs, you'll notice that firms will struggle to control their variable costs. But the problem is they can't really control their fixed cost if they have a high fixed cost. So firms like to keep their fixed costs low at the beginning to ensure that they can be profitable. Now the two time periods we're gonna be looking at this week is the short run and the long run. The short run is a time period where there's at least the presence of one fixed cost in the market. One fixed cost has to be present for this to work in the market. Now variable cost, I'm sorry, uh, the long run is looking at where all variable costs exist. There's not a presence of a fixed cost. Now for this week, you're gonna be focusing on really looking at how firms maximize their behavior. You're gonna look at the discussion board. In the discussion board, you need to have three posts. That first post needs to be posted by Thursday night, and it needs to include both an in-text citation and reference that's in APA formatting. That's very important to get full points in your analysis because you're trying to support your work. So make sure to do that. Now, when you look at these tables that you're gonna see, make sure to look at the tables and evaluate what each column is trying to represent. You're going to have a production function and you're going to have the total cost column. You're going to have two different tables basically to look at. You want to look at both of them differently. Production function is looking at what people or individuals produce okay, in a firm. 
The cost function is looking at the various costs that a firm experiences. So those are two different things that you're going to have to evaluate. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know. But I look forward to all your effort, and I look forward to a good discussion.